I just figured I'd do a little video um, showing how easy it is to charge multiple batteries with this uh, parallel charging board. It's got uh, hook up six, six batteries total. So basically, you need to plug this, your balance lead, to your six cell port right here. This is an Electrify one that came with the uh, Triton EQ. So out on your six pin, or for your six cell, so you can see this. So this goes into your six cell. <coughs> and then you find your one of the adapters that matches, obviously, an XD60 for this one. So that goes into there. Just charging my four cells, so it's 4.8 volts. So I don't want that. I have uh, I have uh, how many? One, two, three, five. I got four 2200s, and that's my four cells there, all freshly charged. So I've got two 2650s and uh, two 3000s. Actually, a 3000, and I accidentally ordered a 33. So, but anyway, it's a little bit bigger. It's actually, come to think of it, I was looking at them today, and actually, the 3300 is actually quite thicker. That little, I'm just keeping track of cycles, so every time I charge the battery, I put a little dot there. So, just to keep track of cycles, it's a little thing I do. I haven't done that one yet, I ran this once today. But, if you look, Quite a difference for 300 milliamps. <laughs> this 3000 is a little bit skinnier, obviously, and about three quarters of an inch longer. Same thickness, a little bit. Yeah, 3000 is just maybe a couple millimeters thicker. So yeah. For 300 milliamps, it seems like you're getting a bigger battery. These are only uh, just 20 to 30. That's good enough. I don't need extra extra power. So, and they're like 17 bucks. So you can't go wrong with that. <coughs> so back to what I was originally doing this video for. I've got the uh, need to charge in, plug in the batteries. But before we do that, I'm going to select the milliamps. So I've got 8,800 8, mAh here total because when they're in parallel, the board, the charger, sees this as one battery basically. <clears throat> so I got 22, 22, 22, 22. So it's 88. So I'm going to plug them all in. But back here, uh, this only goes to 5 amps. So 5,000 milliamps. Right? So basically, you could charge a 5,000 milliamp battery in one hour. Right? Uh, at 1C, which would be 5,000. If it was a 2200, I'm not going to get into explaining how milliamps and stuff work. So, seeing, I'm just going to max it out 5000 because that's the highest it'll go. I don't want 4 cell, 14 8, I want 11.1 for a 3 cell, and or a 2 cell, or a 1 cell. So, back up to 3 cell. So basically, I'm just going to plug the batteries in. <coughs> Notice that um, one side of the balancing boards are uh, facing this way, and on your balance board you got those little grooves. And make sure you plug them right because I made the mistake of plugging a three cell into a four cell port, and I don't have the battery handy. But anyways, as soon as I went to power up, I seen a puff of smoke. Luckily, I caught it, so I popped it out right away. Usually, I when I'm first charged with batteries, I'll hang around and just watch it for like 10 to 15 seconds. Usually if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen then. 
for if you have any kind of cross polarity or whatnot. A little bit of tongue twister. <coughs> so we'll put one in. And I'm not sure if you can see this. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. And we'll put the other one in. And this one has to go that way. Cell. I'm going to put this one over. I usually alternate back and forth. Uh, three cell on that side is right here. Just double check because I was just doing it one day and obviously not paying attention, but it's good to double check your stuff. You never know. Maybe five years or 35 years, everybody makes mistakes. All right. So we've got them all plugged in. So the charger is probably going to start saying slow balance. I'm just watch it here, it just cycles every couple seconds, slow balance. So if I hold the battery tight, to bring me to the next set of pages, pages, <coughs> and we'll come down one, and this is what it shows per cell for each battery. So it's, it's showing, showing it as one, one three cell basically. coming down it just shows the high and low cell. Cell one average. Safety timers on. If this was going to take more than an hour and a half I would uh, turn that off because it has an automatically hour and a half cut off and the alarm is quite loud actually so if there's anybody sleeping it's going to wake them up. It's not like your normal 10 beep cycle when telling your batteries are done. This is like a loud alarm. So uh, we come down one more. That shows <clears throat> what I've put in the last my last charge. So that was on that four cell. I put an 1800 back into a 2650. Uh, okay that's just peak from the last time. It just saved your last. So we're back to this page and it's just you can leave it here for a little bit and it will just slowly balance them out but hit that one more time and we're back to the main page and we have charge discharge and you can pick at what rate and down to what voltage so obviously you wouldn't want to go down to six on the three cell because i don't think it would work anyways so it would charger would override it and just give you an error uh, same thing if I had to try to charge this as a two cell. So just give me a warning, I'll show you. See, this is too high. So you just hit it once, and it, so pretty dummy proof, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. So I need to get back over, bring it back up to the three cell. Alright, even though I said it was a 5,000 milliamp battery, I maxed it out basically. It's only charging at 4.2 amps.
So there, you can see it took 70 minutes and uh, put 4,090 milliamps back in. You see now it's like a 240 MA. It's just like a trickle charge as it's uh, bouncing. Hold this again and each cell is at 420. And that's about it. So pretty much charge 422s in just over an hour. Thanks for watching.